Hello! Hi, guys. Welcome to our Thanksgiving show. We are answering all of your Thanksgiving questions today. The main one is always about the turkey. Everyone has to make the simplest turkey recipe in the entire world. So complicated. I know. It's so easy. Guys, stop making the turkey complicated. So the recipe we're talking about is in our Dining on a Dime Cookbook, Volume 1. There was a typo in the index, so it's page 240, I think, instead of page 250. Up to 50% off. Our print books are 40% off right now for Black Friday. Also, our price books that we got in and our undated planners are 20% off because we discovered a typo. I will tell you about it in just a little bit. All right. Livingonadime.com is where you can find those in the description below. We are answering just your questions, so post them in the description. Andrea says, are we ready for the storm? We're cooking turkey and taking it to a friend's house. Fortunately, they live 10 blocks away. I Yeah, we're ready for the storm. We're pretty much always ready for storms here. Yeah. You have to be. The boys are putting up the Christmas lights today. I took down all the outside fall stuff. I did not get the Christmas stuff. I'm trying to decide what to do for the Christmas outside decorations because last year I had the problem. They all froze and I couldn't get them out till April. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. So <laughs> I had points set as till April because I couldn't get them out. Kimberly, I'm doing green bean casserole, but I didn't see a casserole cookie in recipe in your cookbook. Just green bean mushroom soup with a little bit of milk and Worcestershire sauce. I'm pretty much going to go back of the French onion package. Yeah, because we didn't mm -hmm. really have one until I married Mike. We That's not something that my family ever made. Um, but yes, I we might... Do we have one in volume? Do we put it in volume two? I'm trying to I remember. I was trying to think we had one someplace, but I can't remember where we put um, it now. Um, Casseroles. No. One thing, too, about using the recipe on the package, uh, a lot of times people don't know, but the recipes on the back of the packages are often really good recipes because they want you to rebuy yeah. their product. So they're going to put one of the best recipes, especially for using that product on the back of their packages. So it'll probably, you know, those are probably good recipes. Yep. Tina says, I thought I had cons to make pecan pie, but I didn't use, uh, but I didn't. So I used walnuts. Wasn't going to pay $11.99 for a bag of pecans. Holy moly. We did not make, we didn't make anything this year. We're going out to the Chinese restaurant tomorrow. <laughs> well, you're, actually, we didn't make it. We just made it three weeks ago. Well, no, I didn't make pecan. Oh, it was okay. pumpkin. Okay. Oh, sorry, yeah. So yeah. And then we got a pumpkin pie yesterday. So really I should have made Thanksgiving dinner. So yeah, going out to eat. I've got, got two all. turkeys and a pumpkin pie already. Mm -hmm. And I have pie crust left from the video to make apple pie. So I should have just done it. But Edifying says I got bacon for $1.99 a pound. It's super thick, wow. almost sliced hands. Any suggestions for making it crisp? Just cook it slow and long. But here's the thing. It's the bacon grease that gets hot and fries it and makes it crispy. So I noticed on my bacon that wasn't getting crispy, if there was bacon grease in there, so what I would do is let it slowly cook and get the bacon grease, grease out. out. Mm -hmm. And then once the bacon grease gets hot, just keep cooking it until it's crispy. Mm -hmm. So, um, Actually, Joanne says, might be the biggest bar night. Lots of car wrecks already. Well, yeah, mom said she yeah. had one coming over. Uh, there was one. Well, not I... had one, but I mean, ran into one. Yeah. So I was telling the kids about that. Um, <clears throat> Encourage says, we are going very untraditional. Do the last minute. Hey, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I discovered this. When we first, the first year we got sick, I'd always had Thanksgiving with the family. That's just what you did. And I did cook the dinner, you know, and did the whole shebang. And we were so sick. And a friend of mine said, let's go out. She was going to be by herself. She said, let's go out to eat. We'll go to our favorite restaurant and go out to eat. And I thought, well, you don't go out to eat on Thanksgiving. But I let her, I was too sick to do it, fix the dinner. So we went ahead and went out to eat. And that was like the most fun Thanksgiving I think I ever had that I really enjoyed because I didn't have to cook it, you know, or any clean up anything. And we had fun with her. And so ever since then, I've learned to be very flexible, especially since we've been sick on the holidays, you know, and you can adapt and change some of the traditions and they can be just as much fun you know, doing something different sometimes. So don't be afraid that if you have to do something different. Yeah, our older kids aren't coming up for Thanksgiving. So it's just going to be us and the two boys. 
Wanda, anybody in the West Coast having trouble getting sale meat from Safeway? Um, Albertsons is the same brand now as Safeway. And even though we're not West Coast, we, like, every time I go into Albertsons, they don't have it. It makes me so mad. And mm. so here I noticed our our groceries are getting pretty, pretty bad. Um, when I went to go get my grocery haul for Thanksgiving sale, they were out of a lot of stuff. Yeah, I had trouble too. And then <laughs> I went to go get the whipped, the cool whip. There was an, I mean, it had to have been this thick of ice crystals all over it. I've had I was like, too, with some stuff doing what this. is wrong with your freezer, people? So it's getting to the point where I'm mm. having a hard time finding stuff too because. I don't know. Victoria says I cooked two turkeys using your recipe. The best turkey she's ever tasted. <laughs> Very good. good. Okay. So good job. I'm going to talk about the turkey now that we got everybody on here. So here's how you make the turkey. Take the turkey out. Don't wash it. Just dump the juice down the drain. Turn a turkey upside down on the breast. Shove in a stick of butter after you take out all the giblets. Breast side down. Yeah. That's why I said turn yeah. it upside down, put it in the cavity, and then cover it with foil if you want. You don't have to cover it with foil. I make it without foil. It's just fine if you want a crispy crust, crispy skin. And just put it in the oven at 250 degrees for the first hour at like 9 o'clock at night before you go to bed. And then at 10 o'clock, turn it down to 200 and if you're eating at noon, your turkey will be finished. If you're eating at 5 o'clock in the afternoon, in the morning, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, put it in for an hour at 250, and then turn it down to 200, and it should be done. Check it around 3. If it's not falling off the bone at 3, bump it up to 300, 350, and it will be finished by dinner time. And that's all you do. Seriously, that's all you do. Yes, you can put it in a crock pot. Yes, you can put it in a roaster. And it will all work just fine. And people just really want to make this way more complicated than it is. There's something, though, about putting a turkey in, and a lot of things in the oven over a crock pot that makes it taste. I know, but a lot of people don't have yeah. an uh, oven to do it in. Yeah, so, so but if you don't, but, but I'm saying if you do have yeah. an oven, I would, you know, the oven's a little bit better, yeah. but you can. Chicken says, mice catching tips. We just moved to a home without with a mouse problem. Yeah, actually, oh. first of all, just get regular old mouse traps mm -hmm. and put some peanut butter on there, not cheese. They can't steal the peanut butter, but they steal the cheese. Now, the next thing is, might go into Amazon, please, and get the link for the Sonic things. I have used these Sonic... Me too. Plug-in things for 20 years now. And I have not had any of the houses that I've used them in. I have never had a mouse uh -uh. problem. And so I just, this house is particularly big. So I put one like every two rooms or so, three rooms or so. And then I put two out in the garage because that's where they would be coming in from for me. And so um, I, knock on wood haven't had any mouse problems since I've been using that. So I would get them all caught. Don't use, do like I did. One time I caught them in the cabinet with the, I shouldn't be talking about this for Thanksgiving, but <laughs> I caught them underneath the sink where the dog food was stored. And I closed it real quick and got a hammer and started smashing them with a hammer. She was talking to me on the phone. I said, what are you doing? And she said, I am so sick of having these mice. And I hear bang, bang, bang. She was yeah. killing. Them with so I killed him. So but I, killed I him with the hammer. I have used that same thing, the the plug-in things. Yeah. And I've had no mice. And in Wichita, I didn't have to have um uh I didn't have any roaches. I had no bugs like that at all in Wichita. So yep. but, it was. If not, you can just type it in. Mike will get the link for it for you guys. Um, all right, guys. Diane Dime cookbooks up to 50% off for ebooks. Our print books are 40% off. Right now, that's volume one. This is volume two. And the green one is gluten free, dairy free edition. This is the lowest price that you will get 
until Mother's Day. We only do it on Mother's Day and Chris Black Friday. Then we did get our price books for those of you waiting to get our price books. And these are also 40% off right 40, here. Huh? 40 or 20? 40. Oh. Um, and they are in stock again. And then our daily planner, 20% off our daily planner. Now, we realized we had a printing error. Figures. Everybody needs a proofreader. So we put the wrong calendar in here. So that's why they are marked down to 20% now. Unfortunately. Very sad. 400 pages, 365 days, guys. But they are undated. So you can just get yourself a little pocket calendar and just stick it in there. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you will be good. But if you're wanting to get organized, 20% off right now. Or, yeah, 20% off our planners. Those so are good Christmas gifts, too, besides the cookbooks, yeah. you know. Those mm -hmm. are really, if, you, if you're stuck for somebody like a new bride or a new mom or something like that, those would be mm -hmm. good. Karen says, today I watched you and Jill's pie crust. I've never made pie crust once. I've only ever made pie crust once, and it was a disaster. Yeah, my pie crust is a disaster every time. But I just keep going, and it tastes really good. So we just call it rustic. Don't worry about it. Just call <laughs> it rustic. rustic. As long as it tastes good, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull and not go smooth sometimes. The thing is, a lot of people will get so much flour in their pie crust to make it look smooth and to work uh, look nice. But then that affects the flakiness of the crust and it doesn't taste quite as good. It's more chalky. So even though um, ours, it may not be, you know, it may tear on you a little bit. Just be careful with it. And um, it'll still, you could press it into place once you get into the pan. But it'll be so much more flaky than, you know, the bottom ones or the other types. Yep. Uh, Andy says she's addicted to the scones in our cookbook. Thank you. That was my daughter's recipe that she contributed. Um, that was one of the new ones we put in actually for this edition. Um, Letitia says, looks like next week Wyoming will have colder temps. I know. I know. But it was a good run while it lasted. I've been preparing all week. I so. mean, it is December next week, so really... You can't complain that it was and 60 I was gonna today. Say last so. year, we had way more snow and yeah. stuff. Last year, we already had like four feet of snow on the ground. Yeah, by this time. So, yeah. Because I remember at work, they got, my son got their turkeys at work. And he was like, oh, I can't come over and get it tonight. And his friend was like, okay, I buried it in this snow bank. <laughs> yeah, I and he put an X on the picture where he buried it in the snowbank. It's like, oh, <laughs> so it stayed over. It's still pretty funny. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Mars, 99 cents for 10 pounds of potatoes. Good or should oh. I wait? That's really good. Yeah. That's excellent oh price. My goodness, I I'll just buy 100 pounds I of potatoes. Yeah, I was going to say, I would get a bunch. Because potatoes last <laughs> quite a while. Yeah. Um, all right. Teresa says she's cooking her turkey tonight. Good job. Mm -hmm. And listen, if you need to, if you can't, eat, if you have to work or something tomorrow, you can cook your turkey tonight and just keep it sealed in the foil and just turn your oven down to 170 during the day tomorrow and it won't dry out. Mm -hmm. You'll just keep it on warm and it'll stay warm. So Wanda, what's the difference between Cool Whip and Whip Topping? Nothing. It's the same thing. Yeah. But that's totally different from whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Cool Whip is, does not have whipping cream in it. So it is just soy oil and sugar. <laughs> Fluff so dust. <laughs> uh, Kimberly, the prices were just too high. They advertised they were going to have these great sales, and the sales just aren't there. It just throws throws me nuts. The only thing I was able to stock up on was butter for two ninety nine. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're having it's. Listen, you got to get the deals are still out there, but you got to get savvy doing it. I'm not going to tell you it's not going to be a little bit of work because it is, but you know, you can do it. So Amy says, I got frozen strawberries and blueberries for fruit salad. Fresh were outrageously expensive. Will they be mushy when defrosted? Yes, they will, but they will probably be fine. What I would do is let them defrost, then pat them dry with a paper towel and they're going to be mushy but the taste will be fine. Yeah, be I don't fine. think I've eaten mushy yeah. strawberries before and it's not. I don't think it'll really matter. 
Uh, Nevada, my Albertsons has no issues. Now Smith's, Kroger seems like they are always out of their stuff. Yeah, I think it just depends on where you live. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheryl she says, I got my turkey in the oven at 530. Breast down low and slow. There, <laughs> she's had our cookbooks in her hands all day long. Good job. Yes. And if you need a pie crust right here. Mom's pie crust is delicious. And when you <laughs> do the mashed potatoes, don't forget to add a tablespoon or so of <coughs> sugar yep. to your mashed potato. So that's for about four, four potatoes. I add about a tablespoon of sugar. It'll totally change your mashed potatoes. Yep. And you'll be out of them like crazy because people will just eat, snarf yep. them. And use the pie crust. We had someone a few last week get a bakery pie crust. <laughs> that's why I don't like pie crust. Believe me, use mom's recipe. Sandra, have we ever frozen cottage cheese? How did it turn out? No, I have not. I have not. Somebody My has friend Kimmy on freezes there. all those stuff and she says they're okay. So I don't know. But Jan says we got the thick ice over ice cream here in Montana too. Mm -hmm. She so said the ice cream was okay though. I don't know. Yeah, I've noticed the ice cream from Walmart I've gotten a couple times has that ice on there. Carol, does it matter if the butter is salted or unsalted? We use salted, but if you don't have salted, you can just salt the bird or salt it after it's done if you mm -hmm. want. Mm, okay, let's see. Uh, sure. There are humane plastic traps on Amazon that are $10. Don't use humane. Kill the mice. Just be done with the mice. Seriously. <laughs> Be a to the others. Yeah, well, let them be a warning to the others. <laughs> a warning to the others. <laughs> but you know the plug-in things. If you can get the plug-in things, you don't even have to deal with any dead mice or anything. They just stay away from your house. <laughs> warning to the others. <laughs> be a warning to others. Oh, I can't believe we're talking about mice and Thanksgiving dinner all at the same time. <laughs> uh, Beth says she made the mashed potatoes and stuffing from Dining on a Dime. It was delicious. Oh, thank you. Barbara, thank you for the card, Barbara. Appreciate that. Barbara says, I use cream of chicken soup for my green bean casserole. Yes, that's good also. Oh, you know what I discovered too? And I don't know if you can find it everywhere, but they have got cream of bacon soup mm. now. Campbell's does. And I made potato soup and I stuck, I made a big pot of uh, potato soup and I stuck one can of that cream of bacon in there and that was the best stuff so if you can find it's maybe too late for thanksgiving but for christmas if you can find that cream of bacon soup oh my goodness to start adding it to some of your casseroles and stuff i didn't know they had such a thing but it was really good Cheryl says mm, got that one um Sorry, guys, I'm still not over my cold, so I had to get a cough drop here. Teresa, I got turkey for 79 cents a pound and bone in hand for 89 cents a pound. Good job. Mm. She lives in Olathe. We know Ooh, Olathe. Yeah, we do know Olathe. <clears throat> Kimberly, can you just print off the calendar and include it in the planner? I had actually thought about doing that. Just printing the 2024 calendar for people. <laughs> Since they're undated, what they're going to use. Yeah, since they're undated, the thing is, I don't think most people use the calendar anyway. Because it's an undated planner. Because it's an undated planner. So I think they're just, they just reference it if they need to look up something later. But um, Jan, can you ask a question? The fruitcake recipe. Yes, <laughs> Jan! <laughs> fruit cake a recipe. fellow fruitcake lover. <laughs> I get you. I you get you. There are only few, few of us around, but I get you. I do. And yes, four tablespoons of flour is correct. <laughs> it's because um, you're just binding just the fruit. There's a reason why it's called fruit cake, because it's fruit. It's not really the cake part. It's just more the fruit part. So the four tablespoons just holds it together to bind mm -hmm. to do it. Lori, question is, how much meat per person do you plant? I don't. I just buy the biggest darn tootin' turkey I can get, cook it all, 
and then just save the leftovers. Mm -hmm. But I think Butterball or somebody said a pound and a half per person. So yeah, I was I would say only about I mean, most a pound, but I think that's with leftovers, but still. Yeah. I don't know. Sandra purchased three shares at the grocery co-op Ruby's Pantry, $25 share. I have 15 pounds of cottage cheese. Oh. <laughs> but here's one thing. If you don't want to freeze it, if you turn it upside down, it'll it'll last a whole lot longer than just in the refrigerator. And I learned that one from the Tightwad Gazette. And there's lots of ways. Uh, I think, do we have our Jello tip in there maybe? Where I just take cottage cheese and I'll take a package of like strawberry or cherry Jello. Oh, orange and, is good too. In orange and just sprinkle that on your cottage cheese and a different way to eat it, you know, and do that. It's also good <gasps> in the sun. How is there a bug? Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I think it's a fly. I think it's a fly. Is that what it was? It was. It was. What are it's with the bugs and the mice tonight? But but you can use cottage cheese. It's really good in lasagna. Putting a little bit of cottage cheese in lasagna. Um, and so think of some other ways like that. I like to do <coughs> cottage cheese with marshmallows, a little bit of sugar sprinkled on it. Of course, you can use it with tomatoes and peppers, you know, cut up in it. So just, that'll just give you some ideas of how to maybe use it up a little bit faster. Oh, okay. Wanda says the 2024 is leap year and it just leaped out of the planner. <laughs> Let's go with that, shall we? <laughs> Thank you, Wanda. That's a great idea, Wanda. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I just wanted to cry when we figured that out, <sighs> brother. Jan, Nancy, it's a great deal. I might start having issues with holding the temperature at lower settings. So I got a thermometer from Amazon and tested it. Oh, her oven. Yeah. I don't think my new oven is cooking as hot as it should be, but I don't know. Yeah, mine's off too. Tina, because the talk about the buyout with Albertsons, the store that they're going to sell or close, they are not stocking products in Casper. Oh, that uh, may that be what it sense. was. Okay. That does make sense. Yeah. Nancy, I bought, send me the next mic. I bought a new unopened 18 quart roaster at a garage sale last weekend for eight dollars. Good job. Oh. The owner said she just decided she didn't want it. Lucky me, I'll be using it tomorrow to help prepare a meal. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. I mean, that's a great great way to to do that. We uh have been hitting the thrift stores and the uh, the thrift store here got a new uh addition put on. Oh, yeah, that's right. It did. So that was the happening in the thrift store. World I've gotten here. four tops from there with the new addition for a quarter each. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, Is there a rum part of the fruitcake? No, not in my fruitcake recipe because I don't like rum. So <laughs> I left it out. But you can if you want. Um, okay, next questions we got here. Uh, I don't know. It might. I can't remember. Uh, Andy, when I was in the army, they put me as an expert in the pest control in the field. And my kit they issued me was peanut butter and mouse traps. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh my goodness. Oh. Bab says, love the daily planner. No need for the calendar. We in each page is undated. Yes. Oh, as thank you fact, for letting us know that. I was yeah. just going to rip the page out except that it's on the back side of how to use the planner. Oh, no. So I know. You know, so my loss is say, your gain. So a you lot better of people grab say, it. I want to write a book <coughs> so I can just write a book and sit back and then just collect the royalties. They have no idea the little piddly things well, they have to deal with all if, the time. If it's a publishing company, yeah, they can sit back and do the royalties. But we don't get royalties because yeah. we are self-published. So it all falls on us. But because we're self-published, I get paid more per book than oh, the 10% yeah. of the price that they are sold. So like what you guys don't understand is, is if a book has a store for, if a bookstore has a book and it's $20 and let's say, let's say they sell it for $20. Well, the publisher sells it to the bookstore for $10 and so then the author only gets a dollar, if they're lucky, at the very maximum, gets a dollar for that book. So that $20 book in the bookstore, they only get a dollar. I get a way big, bigger percentage 
But uh, we get three dollars. We get three dollars, <laughs> Mike says. <laughs> but, <laughs> we get more than three dollars. <laughs> but I'm also paying for a bigger house with a warehouse to store all my books. Mm -hmm. I have to pay the th hundreds of thousands of dollars in printing costs. So, you know, it's all on me. And we have and to do so, all yeah. the proofreading and all that type of stuff. So then like when that. there's mistakes, like a mistake like that, a publisher would fix it. Well, when it's me, I just have to mark it down and hope I can get rid of them. So, which I will. Everybody loves it when I mark them down. And guys, these never are marked down because these are printed in the United States. They are a whole lot more expensive to um, print print than the ones that we have than our cookbooks. So mm -hmm. you're getting, a, let me tell you, you're getting a really good stinking good deal with the undated planner at 20% off. Sandra was able to discontinue her insulin, insulin and lost 20 pounds by watching her portion size. Oh my goodness. You that go, girl. Is that's great. So good. Oh, that's good to know. TJ says, never heard of adding sugar to mashed potatoes. I use instant ones. Should I add Sugar to them. Yes. Yes. I do also. Dining on a dime. And volume they probably one. won't even taste like instant as much. They or, you know. Yeah. yeah. Volume one. 40% off right now, guys. This only happens twice a year. Go grab it now if you want um, to get a great deal for Christmas gifts. So, yes. Just add it to the mashed potatoes. All and that sugar does. It doesn't <clears> taste <throat> sweet, but it makes it taste more potato-y. I don't know. Or more the yeah. flavor, it just enhances the flavor, I guess is what I want to say. Goodness. Die! <laughs> Die! Oh, now she's squishing oh. it. We're talking about Thanksgiving dinner and you're squishing a bug on the show. Well, it is <laughs> harassing me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bounty in the Badlands. Do you add the sugar to the water while boiling the spuds? No, when you're mashing them. When you're mashing them. When you add the milk to mash them and that type of thing. DK says, my turkey is going in at nine. Good job. Very good. It was so good last year. We can't wait for this one. So easy. Guys, the recipe is in the description below. Mike will link it for you. We have all of our Thanksgiving recipes. They're super easy. It is not too late to use them. Still, you can still use them. Yeah, the traditional Thanksgiving life with Nicole says, I remember the Thanksgiving show when you started the oven on fire. Yes. <laughs> Wasn't that classic? <laughs> yes. I was I was sitting, I was in Wichita and they were in Colorado and I was sitting watching them in Wichita and I just sat there thinking, okay, <laughs> I watched one fire after another smoke billowing out. And the food like is still children. edible, just fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> like, oh See, a lot of people pay five hundred dollars for a smoker. I don't you, pay five hundred dollars no, for a smoker. To. <laughs> I'm smart. You smoked the pie. She did. Well, <laughs> at, <laughs> 99 Gamer says we went to my mother-in-law's place on Thanksgiving last year. Uh, <laughs> the dogs. Kill the chicken in front of us before we got to the door. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> JT loves fruitcake and mince pies. Yes, my fruitcake. I don't have mince pie, but my fruitcake. I have never had a mince pie. I should try and make that this year. It's I, isn't meat, it, I think. Um, it's meat and raisins, raisins. I think. I say, yeah, it has a lot of raisins in it. Um. <clears throat> Let's just look here, shall we? It is apples, mince meat. Well, they don't say what mince meat is. And may and uh, mandarin oranges, apples, and a lemon. So it's a citrusy thing. Mince meat is. A mixture of dried fruits, almonds, spices, sugar, and fat. Oh, it's not meat. It is, yeah, it's like a fruitcake in a pie, oh. then, it sounds like. Oh, I'll have to try that. Hmm. Oh, my. There is no meat in minced meat. Wow. Hmm. That's okay. probably when they couldn't afford or get meat. Yeah. But they called it that to make it, people think that it was hmm. kind of... Lori says, I pick wild raspberries in June and measure them out for pie and freeze. Very good. Very yep. good. That's what mm -hmm. we do too. 
Teresa says she made the pie crust in volume one and it turned out good. So did the sweet potato and the pumpkin. Very oh, good. good. Oh, and happy birthday, Christine. Happy birthday. You poor thing. I would always <laughs> have your birthday every seven years on uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> Barbara says, I used cream of bacon too, and it's hard to find it. It yes. is hard to find it, but it sure was good. Oh, my goodness. Can you send me the next one, Mike? Um, JP, yes, we do ship to APO and FPO addresses. We take care of our military. Mm -hmm. Wanda, how do you know if cottage cheese is bad um, by the smell and taste? I mean, well, and if you see mold. It'll, it'll but, smell like sour milk is mm -hmm. basically what it'll do. Yeah. Uh, Cherry, what do you suggest for families that are grieving loss at the holidays? Are there any suggestions? Well, just kind of go with the flow. I mean, I don't really have any suggestions, but I wouldn't be too hard on yourself. That's for sure. Yeah, you know, you might. It, it depends on your family. I was going to say you can do it one of two ways is you can maybe try a few couple of different things a little bit different or your family may feel more get more comfort if you try to you know keep all the traditions mm -hmm. and that type of thing yeah so i just kind of go with the flow yeah, and just see what just everybody see wants to do mm -hmm. just you'll have to feel things out is what it amounts <laughs> yep. to all right guys our cookbooks are 50 percent off 40 percent off right now our ebooks are 50 percent off Print books are 40% off. This is volume one and volume two. If you only start with one, start with volume one here. This is just what wouldn't fit in here. 600 pages, 1,200 recipes and tips. This one is almost 500 pages and 800 recipes and tips. So that's volume one and volume two. And then if you are gluten-free, dairy-free, this is our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. And then for those of you waiting for our price books, they just came in. 40% off our price books and then 20% off our undated, undated yearly planner. So there's 365 days, but they're undated. So if you miss a day, you're not missing any, anything. You're not wasting pages. Vicki, I bought my turkey for 59 cents a pound. Very oh, good. good. Very good. Uh, Sharon says, we're looking very pretty tonight. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys are so sweet with your compliments. I was thinking that this morning. Um, uh, that's one thing about not having a husband. You never think about this would be something you would miss, but I don't get compliments very often, you know, that much. Oh, I'm sorry. You look beautiful, Mother. <laughs> your nails are so lovely, <laughs> and your scarf goes so well with your sweater. I mean, I do. It's and not your lipstick I, is perfect, and your well, hair is just glowing. I don't ever get compliments, but, you know, you don't get them quite as often. <laughs> My husband's really good about complimenting me all the time, and you kind of miss that. So you guys do so sweet when you're telling us compliments. It's really kind of nice to hear them. So thank you is what yes. I'm trying to say. Christy, are we offering free shipping for Black Friday? No, we've just marked our books down 40%, which is the lowest you will get all year. So Mother's Day and Black Friday are the only two times that we lower them that low. <clears throat> Beth, turkey was 39 cents a pound. Wow, mm. very good. But I had to buy a 10-pound turkey. Hey, I would. Yeah. I mean, well, think about it. A chicken's five pounds, so yeah. it's only double a chicken. It's just like you're cooking two chickens, so I don't think that would be that bad. And there's so many ways to use the leftovers that you can use them up within, you know, just like three or four days because you can use them in the sandwiches and you can use them in a casserole or turkey soup and all that type and of thing. if you go to Super Easy Recipes, my other YouTube channel, you can find a whole bunch of videos on how to use leftover turkey mm -hmm. um carolyn says would you adapt your turkey recipe when it's just a turkey breast yeah just cook it for less time mm -hmm. i mean i would say probably five to eight hours five to six hours five six eight hours just I, I don't know how big your turkey breast is but i mean you know five to eight hours probably barbara says pineapple jello is good on cottage cheese yes mm -hmm. it is and sandy cottage cheese and pizza yes Marilyn says, fruitcake lovers are a different breed. We are, aren't we? <laughs> we rise above the rest Don't because we know the good things in that. life. <laughs> Just oh. saying. Lisa says, please, uh, prayers welcome. My daughter's very sick with that thing going around. Oh, no. Also, in our 
in your gluten-free bread, is there a replacement for cornstarch? My daughter has a severe corn allergy. Um, cornstarch. You could just use a little bit more um, tapioca starch or arrowroot. Either one would be fine. Oh, I hope she gets better. That's awful to have in <laughs> yeah. holidays and to be sick. So, Connie, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. She got her turkey upside down and cooking. She loves our cookbooks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You can send me the next one's Mike. Mounting the Badlands caterers plan for half a pound per person. One roughly one pound whole raw turkey. That doesn't take into account leftovers. Yeah. Yeah. So I think what... the one and a half is accounting for leftovers. Yeah. I would say I compromise and say a pound. You know. Kimberly, I don't think my husband has complimented me once except on our wedding day, but he shows his love in other ways. Some men are just not capable of expressing themselves. Well, I got news for him. <laughs> uh, if Mr. Dude over here, we got it on, dear. You're on. Now, what would I say if you didn't compliment me? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I've never had that experience. Get it together, Buster. <laughs> no, I always say, don't I look lovely today? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I still compliment you even when you don't say that. You know, but I'm just saying, if you miss it, I make sure you don't miss it. You yes. know, if your husbands don't do things, you gently remind them. Like Tara said, my husband, he really had a hard time remembering when my birthday was or what I wanted for a gift. So the first two or three years that we were married... I would post a list starting about a month ahead of time before my birthday or Mother's Day or whatever. And I post a list right on the refrigerator at his eye height with the list of the things I wanted for my birthday. I got everything I wanted for my birthday all the time. And it helped him. Sometimes guys just, you know, if they don't, it's not that they're unloving and they just, they just don't think of these things. So you got to gently, you know, nudge them along sometimes on this stuff or think of ways to nudge them. Okay. Next. Um, Louise paid off their house two months ago. Good job. Very good. good. Job. Yeah. That must feel awfully good. Jan says our books are quality books. Yes, they are. We made sure that they are hardcover, but we also made sure that they lay flat. That was so now, this is an absolute brand new book. I have never used this book. And let me show you. I am clear at hold on a second. I am clear at the very beginning of the book here. And you can see it still lays flat. Even at the on page 46 here. We'll even just go even further. Now we're on page 10. So see they lay flat even. When, when they're, they're open, open. they're not going to be flopping. So, and we pay extra for that, just so you know. Everybody says, well, your books are so expensive. That's because we made them quality so that they will and last. last a lifetime. You know, like the old Betty Crocker books, it's some um, that you find at garage sales and stuff. We tried to make them good quality that your mom or your, that you can pass down even to your grandkids and stuff. So it really says, I saved 36% on my energy bill from last month following tips from living on a dime. Very oh, good. good. That's good. She saved so much money on groceries that her husband is finally on board. Good. Very good. Debbie says there's no meat and mince pies. You will love them. Yes. Well, I'm going to have to try that now because yeah. I like citrusy things. So, mm -hmm. um, Peggy, I'm going to order cookbooks and something for me and my daughter. Cookbooks and, and cat. Cal calendar? No. It says cookbooks and cat. So I have no idea what that means, but she's ordering the cookbooks. So thank well, you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, Reva says, I guess for grieving, maybe that it helps changing your gathering place. Yes. Sometimes yes, that's that a good it idea. just depends on your family. If your family wants to have the memories of the place, then just stay where you're at or do something different. If yeah, you that's so. what I was saying. You have to gear what your family's needs are for that. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> all right. Denise, Peggy and Vicky all say their husbands never compliment them. Have mercy. <laughs> I think I would be saying, all right. I expect a wonderful accolade about my hair today <laughs> and my new shirt, please. <laughs> our, our McClure says she loves the 
the planner. It is a great planner. Thank, Thank you. you. It is 20% off right now, guys. Mars, I ended up putting cardboard on the back door threshold because I was trying to save money on heat and hardware. Very good. Very good. And Donna says, does the roaster cook like the oven and get it crispy? No. You'd have to take the lid off the roaster. No, it would wouldn't still you? wouldn't. It still wouldn't work because the roaster. Why not? Well, it won't get crispy because there's no heat on the top in a roaster. Oh, in a electric roast. Yeah. I was thinking a roasting pan. No. That's what I was thinking. I didn't know. No, it won't get crispy in a yeah. roaster probably. Not well, either. I don't know. Maybe Google it. I don't know. If it does a roaster make it crispy? I don't know. Google it and see. Let's see. Um... It doesn't say. Well, you'd have to do some search. Just a quick search. I can't really see. It's talking about roast potatoes. But um, it wouldn't in a roaster, I don't think, because you'd have to have heat all around, I would think. I, I was don't thinking know. of just a roasting pan. I, I don't ever use a roaster or anything like that because I hate, cl I've all, I hate cleaning up the mess. I don't have dishwasher. I haven't ever used a dishwasher. So I put foil. I get a disposable pan and I put lots of foil in the bottom and so that it won't leak out and put the foil down. And then I put the turkey in there and I cover it up tight with the foil. And um, that way I don't, I, when the turkey's all done and we've eaten it and there's just a pile of bones there laying in the foil, then I just take the whole thing of foil and wrap it around the bones and throw it all in a plastic bag and stick it in the fr freezer until January, and I'll pull it out sometime in January and throw it in a pan and make turkey soup. That way I don't have to clean, a, you know, a pan at Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day. But most people have dishwashers now, so it's not a problem. Mike, can you send that to me? So you just set all that for nothing then? Well, <laughs> no, some people may not have a dishwasher. And if you don't have, I would just do tons of foil. I put foil this way and foil that way and wrap it up really tight. Um, your, I need the next... Uh, batch. Um, let's see. Sherry says bacon slices on top of the turkey in the roaster. Mm, yeah, that, would be, that good. would be good. And mm -hmm. people are wondering about the coupon code. There's no coupon codes, guys. You can just go in and order. Just go in and order, and they're fine. I wonder if you put some of the bacon in where you put the butter at, if that bacon juice would go down into the breast. Well, I mean, yeah, it would, but it bit. wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't crisp. It no, the bacon though. wouldn't crisp, but it would flavor the breast is what I was thinking. Yeah. Carol Ann, no, we're not reprinting the budget books. Sorry about that. Um, okay, let's see. Where are they here? Here they are. Okay, Debbie says, in the pie crust recipe, can you use butter instead of shortening? You can, but it's not going to turn out the same. It won't be the, quite the same. So, I mean, if you want to, yeah, but it won't be our recipe then. It won't be the same. Yeah, it won't be the, it'll affect the texture just slightly and the flavor. But you, you know, you'll And have, it'll burn quicker too. Yeah, <clears throat> it will. Louise, I'm cooking the turkey recipe. This, what is going on? I don't know. But <sighs> this is ridiculous. It's like Lord of the Flies in here. <laughs> we didn't have or, this no, many this time. Not Lord of the Flies. What's the other? What is it? Attack of the Flies or whatever. <laughs> Fly man. <laughs> Brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Lise, uh, Leslie says, I'm cooking your recipe, turkey recipe right here, Dining Volume 1, and in the description below, guys. The turkey never seems to be ready on time enough. Casseroles to cook it well. Get those ready. Got those ready for the oven today. So what, what I would do is just get the turkey done first and take it all off the bones, put it in a tray or whatever, put some juice over it, cover it with foil, and then put all of them in the oven. Um, cook your casseroles and then like 15, 20 minutes before your casseroles are done, put your turkey in there and it'll be warmed up. Mm-hmm. John, after the first fire, I'd be phoning around to see who was opening and delivering. <laughs> no, because the food was still fine. That's why I leave those things in, because people think you have to dump all that stuff, and you don't. I dumped the turkey on the floor. 
10 years ago, I dumped the turkey on the floor <laughs> and we still ate it. But yeah. I'm with you. I think I just give up and <laughs> order something in. Well, that's because my mother has no perseverance for those types of things. So, Eva, if I make sweet casserole, potato casserole tonight, should I wait to reheat it in the morning? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just put the marshmallows on top of it. Yep. <clears throat> Andy, I just got a new set. My teen is excited for my old ones that my cat went a little crazy when I left open on the couch one day. Our cookbooks? What did your, did your cat do something? Oh my. Oh dear. Wow. I think the cat would be, thanks. <laughs> just me, but you know. Um, Poor kitty. <laughs> is the ham salad... In volume one, like the stores used to sell by the macaroni. And, yep, it yeah. is. Mm -hmm. It's really it is. good. Lori, any ideas for prepping up? Oh, for pepping up the canned cranberry sauce. Nope. I open the in and I plop it on there and we enjoy the slice jiggle. It. Yep. I mean, we just slice think, it up and leave it at that. Now, I did do, a, I don't know if we have the recipe in there, cranberry sauce, uh, cranberry recipe in there or not. But I do, um, to put on meat, sometimes I will take the cranberry sauce and add cloves. What else did I have in there? Mustard. Mustard, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I did heat it up, the cranberry sauce, with a little bit of cloves and a little bit of mustard. Not You don't need a whole lot. And just warm it up. And then you put it on top of ham. It's really good on ham. But you can use it on turkey, too, any kind of meat, really. And it's just a nice sauce to have on the meat. <gasps> Tyler! From generation two. Oh, hi, Tyler. Happy I hope you're feeling better. I've been Happy praying for you. I hope you guys are doing better. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Shh. Amy, we have five of the four kids which are grown and out of the house, and I've gotten four of them cookbooks, volume one and two. Thank you. Oh, thanks. What's a set for her? She loves them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 40% off, guys, right now. This is only twice a year that they are this low, unless I'm moving. And I'm not planning on moving. So, Sherry, bacon slices on top of the turkey. And, oh, yeah, sorry, said mm -hmm. that one. Jill, there are some older recipes that call for minced up beef steak and suet along with fruit and other ingredients. I grew up in Ohio. And my mom and grandma made minced meat, that meat and suet. I never liked it as a kid. Doesn't sound real. Well, you know, I think tasty, that's why but... maybe I'm confused because I've heard recipes where they've done the meat with the fruit mm -hmm. mixed together, but then I've heard where they so just I think the that fruit. there's mince meat. One word must be nuts and fruit, but mince meat, meat is a different thing. Maybe is a verb with a noun and not just a noun. Well, someone else said that. See what I did there. Until the Victorian era, yeah. Mm. Tove says, are there cheaper meals in the cookbooks? Yes, these are all inexpensive meals with ingredients you already have on hand, and you will get in and out of the kitchen quick. Both our volume one is the red one, and our volume two is the blue one, and then our gluten-free, dairy-free edition right here. But here's the thing. <clears throat> it doesn't have squat to do with the recipes, really. It has to do with how you buy groceries. So the trick to having cheap meals, I can have the same meal with the same exact ingredients, one bought on sale and one not, and it will, it'll be a $20 difference, $30 difference between one and the other. I can make this meal for $10 for the entire family. And if I don't buy it on sale, it'll be 30 or $40. And the brand you buy and that <clears throat> type of thing too. So mm -hmm. it really has to do with um, how, how you're you, shopping. How you shop, yeah. Yep. Can you um, send me the next batch, Mike? Lori says, never made homemade cranberry sauce. Is it easy? Yes, it is. All you basically do is just boil cranberries and then just add your flavorings and the cranberries burst open. <laughs> and then um, <clears throat> you can just add your sugar and your um, spices if you want, whatever you want today or whatever you want, and then um, you can eat it that way. Um, okay, let's see. <coughs> um, what are the recipes in the cookbooks, and what's the difference in the two books? Okay, so let me answer the first question. The difference in the, or the second question. This is volume one, this is volume two. 
totally different recipes. We just couldn't fit these into here because this is already 600 pages. So we added all the recipes that we wanted to put in here, in here. Now, as far as recipes that are in there, you can go to our sales page and flip through and you can look the entire cookbook. You can flip through the whole entire cookbook mm -hmm. and go to, um, <clears throat> go to um, our store, click on the ebook version of Dining on a Dime Volume 1 and use the code DINING1, D-I-N-I-N-G-1, number one, D-I-N-I-N-G-1, and you can get the ebook for free. And then you can look through and see if it's what you want. But we have everything in there. We have maple glazed chicken. We have honey baked chicken. We have how to make fajitas. We have how to make taco seasoning, how to make ranch dressing, how to make mashed potatoes, how to make homemade bread, how to make apple pie, how to make pumpkin pie, pecan pie. All the basic recipes everything. and then extras. We've got lots of seasonings in there. Uh, but we also how to make homemade toiletries and cleaning, uh, products. cleaning products. Kids stuff like Play-Doh. things, yeah. It's, it's a huge, <clears throat> when she says 600, we've got a lot of stuff in there, 600 pages, so. Bounty and Badlands, we set a place at our holiday table to honor all our loved ones who are no longer here. There you That's go. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Jerry, she's making our gluten-free apple crisp right now. It is very yummy, isn't it? Oh. And for those of you gluten-free, if you don't want to make a, you can make a gluten-free apple pie. The pie crust is really good. But if you don't want to make a whole pie, just make the apple crisp for tomorrow. If it's just like one person is gluten-free, like in my family, that's me. So, yeah. And, you know, if you guys want like pumpkin pie, but you're still intimidated by the pie crust, I take the pie filling recipe, the filling for the pumpkin pie in the cookbook, and I mm. just bake it in a short, um, you know, in a pie tin or something without the crust and add whipped cream. And it's really good. You can do those, those pies like that without the crust if you want to. She says that the apple crust is very yummy. Yes, it is, isn't it? Crisp, the apple crisp, is that what? Yes. Julie says she's cooking my turkey tonight, making the rest of the sides in the morning. Yay. Very good. Um... Bell says, Mike could start a show for the men. A cooking show? No, <laughs> about the oh, about, oh, yes. Oh, about it. Yeah, compliment. complimenting. Are we sure the boys didn't fall off the roof? Have we checked to make sure that they're not <laughs> laying dead on the ground somewhere? Surely one would let us know if the other one the fell boys, off. If the boys are up on the top of the roof. The boys are up on the roof and, and came out here. <laughs> Um, Wild Rose, I purchased Dining One today. Thank you. Oh, thank you. That is the red book. Becca, I have a corn allergy, and the allergist told me I can't eat anything with the corn zen protein molecule in it. So, so the starch is okay. Ask your daughter's doctor. Yeah, that's you just have to ask what is okay, what's not. Jenna, my husband got me your first cookbook for Christmas last year, and it is my go-to. Yay! Oh, good. Hoping he will get me volume two. So this is volume two. This is the first one she's talking about. This year, tell him to go do it now. It's on sale. Yeah. One thing about our our first, the red cookbook, is that it's like those old-fashioned cookbooks you could get in the 40s and the 50s, that they had all kinds of ideas in there and tips, you know, like we have freezer tips, we have menus in there. It's just a good general cooking book, you know, besides the recipes. She said she loves our recipes so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Cooking with Cat Letter says, can I cook the turkey in a tin pan with the roast, in the roaster? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, hurry thing. Yeah. Yep. Um, Davil says, already had mine. It was nice to spend some time with family. Very good. Oh, good. Bounty in the roast, Bounty in the Badlands says my roaster doesn't crisp a bird. Yeah, it, it wouldn't because you need the heat all the way around. So in a roaster, I think it's only coming from the bottom. So I don't think it would brown anything. Uh, Joyce says got some great reduced beef at the grocery store this afternoon since everyone is buying turkey. I know. Yeah. And check Friday morning too. Yeah. Friday morning is a really good time to get some deals, especially on chicken and beef. Mm -hmm. One year... Well, I think that was New Year's, not, or was it Christmas? No, it was Christmas. Christmas, I think. I got a hundred pounds of ground beef for a dollar a pound because it was after Christmas. 
So, Connie, back in 1999, I purchased your first cookbook, not just beans, and tomorrow we're serving your popovers. Oh, so that was the original name. Yeah. So you bought the very first one. You saved that because when I die, <laughs> I'm sure you'll get twenty thousand dollars for yeah, money. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> but that was the original name, guys, of our dining on dime cookbook. When we got a publisher, they changed the name. I don't know why, because <laughs> it was a stupid name. That's why. Oh, brother. Nobody got it. That's where I learned my first big marketing thing is don't use cutesy names. People don't get it. Like the donut shop here is called Glazed and Confused. Okay. But how are you supposed to know what Glazed and Confused means? You're not going to know that's a donut well, shop. And it's a reference to a movie that most people yeah, and it's in reference to a movie that most people haven't seen, Mike said. But, you know, don't, I'm going to, I have determined I'm going to start a marketing class in this town. <laughs> we, I'm just like, at church the other day, they were like, this was like, I don't know, six or eight weeks ago. Oh, we're having all the ladies connect and we want to connect and all this. And I went up and I said, I know you guys are wanting to connect, but there was no email, no phone number. <laughs> A church website that made absolutely no sense that anybody would even be able to remember. And I said, you got to have that information when you're talking about it on the screen. And they were like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the other day we went to the thrift store and they have a little annex thing where they have their Christmas shop. Well, come to find out the Christmas shop has been open since October. I know. We've been waiting for it to open up because we were wanting to check it out. I told the lady. Uh, you need to put a sign saying you're open. Well, I put it on the newspaper and I put it in the radio. I'm like, <laughs> put it right here next to the thrift store where everybody's walking in and they're already here. And so I, I just think I'm going to have to, but I was impressed. I was impressed. We went and looked at a snowblower at the restore today. And they took the weather forecast and printed it oh, out and put it on front of the snowblower. That's, that, that's good. Good job. I was job. like, good job, Brad. Good You're job, getting there. Brad. Good job. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Vicki, huh? <laughs> Vicki, I cooked my dressing today. Going to reheat it in the microwave tomorrow. Yep. Sounds mm. good. Turkey is going in early in the morning. Very good. Yeah. Vicki, she made homemade cranberry sauce. Oh, that's why everybody was talking about it. Yep. And Joyce says, I'm enjoying Jill's cranberry sauce with cheese steak over noodles tonight. Well, that's mm. a new one. Hmm. Yeah, well, that sounds good. Yeah, that sounds yummy. Um, can you send me um, the next batch, please? Yes. Um, all right. Let's see. Kimberly says, my mom who sold her quilts and sold a lot of her sewing items because she was a quilt teacher, but she was terrible at marketing at these craft shows. I know. Mm -hmm. I did all the marketing, all the packaging, set up her table. The only reason she made money was because I did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People don't realize, I would say at least 75% of anything you sell is marketing. you got to get it right. And you mom's know. wrong. It's 95%. <laughs> Sorry, it's but huge, seriously, it, it is. It's a huge percentage. When yeah. I went to go write the cookbook, one of the things I did was um, contact the four ingredient cookbook lady. And she's like, and I was asking her questions. She said, you know, she said, I appreciate you asking all these questions about writing the book. But let me just tell you, writing the book is 5% of the work and 95% of the work is marketing it. So if you don't get the marketing, it's not going to matter how good the book is. And she was right. Mm-hmm. Bounty in the Badlands. I buy a whole bunch of fresh cranberries on sale after Thanksgiving or Christmas and throw them in the freezer. Very mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. Yeah, yep. you need to do that. R. McClure says, I didn't like mincemeat pie as a child. A double flour pie crust, meat, beef, raisins, currants. Yuck. See, I can't quite get... Well, I mean, I guess it's I could like the I, beef with currants and raisins. I guess I could see that. Yeah, it'd be like me telling the cranberry sauce on top of the turkey or ham. You know, a lot of fruit tastes, or the peach pork chops. We've got a peach pork chop um, mm -hmm. where you just put peach jam on top of the pork chops. It's really yummy. So fruit and meat is usually really, really good. Now, Gross says, do you have any favorites to add to deviled eggs other than the usuals to make them different? Yeah, bacon grease. Put, a, put about a tablespoon of bacon grease in the deviled eggs, and that is really good. Or 
and or <clears throat> chopped up bacon would also be good. I was going to say bacon bits, yeah. I add bacon grease to my potato salad, which isn't in the book. That's just a Tara extra. Um, and my potato salad, like my ham salad and my egg salad, and it tastes really, really good. Mm -hmm. Debbie, do we post to Australia? So I think she said it means do we mail? <laughs> um, I'm very sorry. We can't because of the foreign countries' customs and tax laws. We have had to stop shipping outside the United States. But you so can get it on we can ebook. Get the ebook. Get the ebook. Yep. Yeah. Fifty percent off all our ebooks right now. Mm -hmm. So. You have to give us a course in how to shop cheaper. Do you use coupons? Actually, I already have a course. It's how to save on groceries, and that's 50% off right now, so go grab it. No, I don't use coupons no. because I save more money not using coupons. Now, I do use digital coupons now because that's how the stores are doing their sale, sale price. Yeah, you don't have But not paper coupons. I don't use paper coupons. I haven't used those for probably 20 years. Mm -hmm. And we wrote the book because the whole premise was you can save money on your grocery bill without using coupons. Yeah. That's how we marketed it. As a matter of fact, it might still even say it on, I don't remember if we changed it or not. Oh yeah. I forgot. We even have gift baskets mm -hmm. uh, and the jar mixes and stuff. Cleaning wipes. I'm reading what we got in the book back here. Now. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Uh, we changed the marketing, but we used to market it as you can save on your grocery bill without using coupons. Mm -hmm. Lori, will you make a volume three? Probably not. Um, Kimberly, making blueberry crisp tomorrow. Oh, yum. Mm. That would be really good. Oh, that's I love five. blueberry. So do you buy meat at a butcher shop? Nope, because usually it's super expensive. Too expensive. Mm -hmm. Sean, I have a 17-pound turkey ready to start to be put in the oven. Good job. Very Follow the good. recipe and you'll do it. Ellen, Tara, I'm not burning a turkey in the oven today. I am not. I made, I made eight boxes of brownies today <laughs> and six or eight boxes of brownies yesterday. So I did not. My son's school was having a bake sale. And so dumb me, I didn't sit and figure it. And I'm like, wait a minute. I just spent three, four hours baking brownies and brownies and brownies and more brownies. Probably five hours worth of work. I should have just given them a hundred dollar bill and been done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I was not thinking on that. Elaine says my volume two is red. Is that normal? No, you have a special edition. So, oh, yeah. So what happened was, oh, that fly is still alive. Oh my God. Goodness, die! This is what I went through when she was killed. Don't drop it on me when she was killing the mice and I was listening to her on the phone killing the mice. It's like, oh my goodness. It's moving. I can't believe it was moving. <laughs> okay, so what we did was originally when volume two came out, it was red because we thought, oh, they're a set. They'll go together. No, what happened was it totally confused everybody. So we changed it to blue. So when I die... Put it on eBay and you will sell a ton and then go and buy another one from Mike when he's clearing some out because I'm dead. So, yeah, it's it's special. You got a special printed edition for that. Mm -hmm. Any ham recipes? Oh, my goodness. We have a ton. Go to YouTube and type in ham. And we have a video on 11 ways to use ham. But we've got in volume one, Shayla's ham and noodles. We've got ham salad, honey baked ham. We've got how to slow roast a ham. Uh, volume two, we've got ways to use ham leftovers. I can't remember all of the ones, but yeah, honey, ham mustard, cranberry sauce that you can put as a sauce for ham also, and horseradish sauce that you can put on ham. Those are all in there. Mm -hmm. Mars, add candies and walnuts to cranberry sauce. Yeah. Candies. What kind of can? Oh, he maybe he means candied walnuts or she maybe candied walnuts. That would be good. Yeah. Add maybe candied walnuts, maybe. Mm -hmm. YL just came across your newsletter, Jane, a June 16, 2000 letter. We have been together a long time. Holy cow. Oh, my. Wow. For well, sure. You. Yeah. Mm, Bunna Bear says, how exciting. I made a live show. Thank you. Oh, oh and they're good. on Australia, too. Oh, hello. Yeah. Enjoy the sun. You I was going to say, tomorrow. I'm glad you guys are warm because we're freezing here. <laughs> Denise, I love both the cookbooks. And I love that you include pics of the old 
pick, uh, written recipes. Thank you. Mm. Um, Kimberly has not just beans too. Yep, that was the original name of our <laughs> uh -huh. cookbook. Very bad marketing on our part. Lori, it's really crazy. We cook and clean, prep and clean, cook and clean, and then the big day comes and we have to clean up that mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I know. Kim Michelle, she still has a spiral bound cookbook. Yeah, I mean, we have like 12 different editions. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's been 25 years. So, but Okay, your cookbooks are like an encyclopedia packed with recipes. Thank you. 40% oh. off, guys. Our Black Friday sale right now in the description below. Thank you for letting us know that. So the <clears throat> other ones and other people that are thinking about getting it are wondering, you know, what's actually in it and everything. But we do, I do suggest they go to the website, to the shop and everything. And flip through. Yeah, you'd be amazed at what we have in there. Now, Gross says my nanny had a white cloth tablecloth that we could all sign and date Stating what we were thankful for each year. Oh, oh that was lovely. nice. Yeah. Deanna, both of her volumes are red. I'm telling you, you got a special edition there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Monique, happy Thanksgiving. Can you send me the next ones, Mike? <clears throat> um, all right. Let's see. How much are the books? Tove, just go look at the sales page. I don't know what the exact number is on sale. Uh, where is Tara's fly sweater? I know. I know. They're just dropping from the sky. This they're, is dropping like they're, 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 they're dropping like flies. They're dropping like flies. flies. Yeah, Michael, great minds think alike. <laughs> um, Michelle says the choir here gave everybody who signed up a turkey dinner. Wow. Mm. Um, all right. Let's see. I have not brought plants in from outside, so I don't know. That's what's weird. I don't know what the deal is. They're all in the house. <laughs> Uh, Ellen says we are spatchcocking a turkey and smoking it. Wow. We might still be married tomorrow. I'll let you know. <laughs> Have mercy. I know. Totally understand. Been okay, there, done whatever. that. Whatever. Oh, Linda goodness. says made pumpkin roll from dining one today and it turned out delicious. Isn't that good? Oh, Ooh, that is the best. I know. Everybody, every recipe I've tried in both cookbooks has turned out fabulous. Yay. Well, thank you. <clears throat> Amy says we got free turkeys from a local store <coughs> because a professional football team purchased them. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Joni, have a beautiful Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you. you guys for all your. Patty says, I saw a recipe for meatballs simmered in cranberry sauce. Yes, mm -hmm. I've seen that. That would, would be, be good. Really good. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between volume one and two? They're the same. <clears throat> there are, I mean, there's none. There, there are none of the same recipes. They're all totally different recipes. I just couldn't fit volume two into volume one. So Lori, does your cookbook have appetizers and what would you recommend for Thanksgiving? Um, Oh my goodness. Well, don't do this appetizer I saw on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I would probably, it would taste good. But the way the lady did it, and I feel bad because I know people do this to me too. <laughs> Actually, she was a lot like me, but I was just like, <laughs> was okay, I'm like going to have to be you. more careful with my cooking here. <laughs> I was going to say. But she took Ritz crackers, put them on there just blopped a thing of cream cheese and blopped a thing of cranberry sauce on each one. And that was it. And I was like, okay. I mean, I guess it would taste good. <laughs> but first of all, it was a big old mess because there was juice all over the place. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. And so then that would make your side cracker soggy. So, <laughs> And everybody was just like, but it got reviews. So I guess, <laughs> hey, maybe I need to do those if I want some views. Like sloppy those. ones. <laughs> Present says, made the peanut butter pie, cranberry sauce, spinach chips, sausage balls, and green bean casserole so far. Very good. Mm, you're on the turkey. ball. Yep. Yeah, you're on the ball. Vicky says, cranberry relish over cream cheese is good. Yeah, well, oh, that's, yeah. I mean, I guess it would taste good. I was just thinking how soggy the craft crackers were going to get with all that juice. I mean, she didn't drain it or anything. She just popped it in a can. Well, what I would have done was put a little bit, of, spread the cream cheese on the cracker and then cut the the solid uh, cranberry sauce into little squares or something instead of small square. You know, Or on combine one. the cream cheese and the cranberries. Or, yeah, you that could would do that. Easier, you could but I don't that. know. I'm just thinking about all the juicy, soggy crackers. Yeah, I wouldn't I put the juice. Them. You'd have to drain it first. Monique, I'm hard-boiling eggs as we check. Bacon grease. Would have never thought of that. Yes, it's very mm -hmm. good. 
Uh, Ellen, did I get your email from last Sunday? Uh, yeah, I thought I responded to you, Ellen. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I did because it's not here in my inbox. So I don't know, but resend it to me. Maybe. One thing on the deviled eggs, I don't think I've ever been to a potluck or a family dinner that when you bring deviled eggs, they're always gone. They're one of the first things nope. that goes. People love the, and they're so easy to make. There's almost nothing to making them, you know, and they're not very expensive. Eggs, now eggs, the price have gone down. So if you need something inexpensive that won't break your budget and that everybody will love, do deviled eggs. Mars Hutch says making cream cheese and onion soup stuffed mushrooms. That would be very mm, delicious. That sounds, you guys are coming up with some good stuff and I haven't had supper yet. Now mm. Gross says bacon makes everything better. Yes, it yes, does. It does. <laughs> Nancy, Catalina dressing and apricot jam, chicken thighs. Very good. Mm. Yeah. Christina got 10 bucks of cereal near the Best Buy date for 38 cents. Wow. That's wow. great. Bonnie, I'm making cherry and raspberry pie. One frozen from the garden. Yep. Cookie with Cat Letter says, mm. how to save money on groceries. E-course is so good. Yeah, it's 50% off. So if you want to, how to save on groceries, go buy our how to save money on groceries e-course. It's 50% off right now. And they'll probably save with their first grocery grocery shopping. Oh, you'll save on your first three items the money you buy at the grocery store. Because it's course. not, it's like $20, I think. It's re, it's ridiculously cheap, actually. It's way too cheap. I should be charging like $300 it's, it's a for this It's very intense along, yeah. you know, there's a lot of stuff yeah. in there. A whole lot of stuff mm. in there. Um, Tracy, just started watching this afternoon. I'm getting ready to use your method to roast my turkey. Will it hurt to salt and pepper the turkey? No, it won't hurt anything. You can. Uh, yeah, you can. Although I usually would salt and pepper it after it was done. Mm -hmm. And when I cut it and lay it on the platter, I just do a little bit of salt and pepper then. Uh, it, I don't think it'll make a big difference one way or the other, but that's just the way I do it. Monique says, I'm worried my turkey isn't defrosted enough. Doesn't matter. Just throw it in the oven tonight anyway. It'll be fine. My, I'm not kidding. The majority of the time I put my turkeys in, they are like half frozen. So it's really okay. Huh? Yeah, with our yeah. recipe. Yeah, if you use our recipe, they'll be okay. Olympia, we are making ribs and chicken legs. Ooh, mm. nobody wants turkey. Yeah, I mean, if nobody wants it, then yeah. Robin, how do you use Ibotta to say it saves, it has saved me money? I don't. Colleen, I use the pie crust and pecan pie recipes, and they are the best. Thank you. Oh, thank you. My husband was a southerner, and they are better than ever we any we ever had. Wow. Wow, that's a compliment. Yeah, it's Very a good, good pecan. I love pecan pie. That's my favorite, and I... Yep. It's really good. So, so we teach you how to shop. Yes, we do teach you how to shop. Mm -hmm. uh, you can send me the last batch, Mike. Um, Deanna, I watched Southern Frugal Moments. Someone on there had a spiral bound book and said they found their favorite book at a garage sale for a dollar. Wow. Mm -hmm. I hope it was not just beans or dining mm -hmm. on a <laughs> um, Kimberly says jalapeno jelly over cream cheese and puts it on crackers. Yes. yes. That is very delicious. So good. Yes. Um, do we watch football game or do we watch the Macy's parade for Thanksgiving? No, we don't do anything special for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> the kids just sit and do nothing. <laughs> I just got your next email. Thank you, Ellen. I'll look at it afterwards. Um, well, actually, I'm not going to look out till Monday because I'm not doing anything this weekend. Lori, <laughs> do you watch? Oh, uh, Kimberly. Oh, got that one. Lori says she has a mixed nuts and veggie tray. Very mm, good. That's good. Anu says she has all three books. Just made the pumpkin pie. Thank you. Oh. Valley of the Badlands. One of our favorite apples is blue cheese stuffed dates. What? I bet you that one. One of our. Good. No, wait a minute. One of our favorite. Oh, appetizers. appetizers. It's. That's, she didn't spell that appetizers. I've never seen it that way. Is blue cheese and stuffed dates. Yes, that, that would, would be, be really good. good. Yes, that would oh, be you guys very delicious. They're torturing us. Um, is there a meat grinder you recommend? No, I just have a really old fashioned one that I got a garage sale. Old fashioned metal one that you just crank with your hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. I love that more than yeah. anything. 40% off volume one and volume two and... Our gluten-free, dairy-free edition. The link is in the description below, guys. Also, our undated planner is 20% off. It is undated so that you don't miss any dates at all right there. 
but it does have a misprint with the calendar from 2023. And then guys, our price books are back in stock for those of you wanting, um, <clears throat> wanting our price books to help you save on grocery. This Tova, is how you're going to save on groceries. It's how you shop about groceries, not, um, well, it is what you buy, but it's mostly how you, how you buy what you, how you shop. Let's see how you shop for what you buy, I guess. Yes, dear. Oh, well, yeah, we're doing, I wasn't going to deal with the email till Monday, but yes. So we're going to do a live show on Friday, guys. I don't know. Maybe we need to have a counseling show on what to do when your family's not speaking to you after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Mike and I have lots of um, experience in that area. <laughs> Joyce says your banana bread with cranberries is good. Oh mm. yeah, that would be really good. Lisa says, when I was a kid, watched the parade and then all day Twilight Zone marathon. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's good. that's, that's a hilarious. different one. That's for sure. Yeah, that'll really put a twist on your Thanksgiving, <laughs> won't it? Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. It's all kind, right. It's kind of fun, some of the things people do on Thanksgiving. Yep. All right, guys, please give us a big thumbs up and share. In the description below is... Um, all the links for our cookbooks. Kelly, we do not clean our turkey. You don't want to be splatting mm -hmm. bacteria all over your kitchen. Just drain off the juice and put it in there. It will get up to the proper 165, 75 degrees, whatever it is, depending on who you're talking to. In the oven, it will get up to the proper temperature and kill everything. So you don't need to clean a turkey. There's no reason to clean a chicken and there's no reason to clean turkey. No, so you stop call, doing that. Cause more chance of people getting something yep. by cleaning it. Yep. And if you want a free Bible, it's in the description below. Please have a happy Thanksgiving and we will happy see you guys next time. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.